Hi, thanks for your interest in the broadcast feature of uh, Snatchbot. The broadcast feature is a very powerful tool for your bot. It's the way in which you communicate with lots of people. And it has a wonderful advantage over email in that you're inviting a genuine interaction rather than just sending out a message. And the problem with sending out mass emails is even if you get through the filters, there's something a bit cold and impersonal about receiving the, the uh, an email like this you know as a there's no opportunity to, to to sort of tailor your interests you're being told something you're just a passive recipient by contrast an invitation to talk to the bot is something that gives a person a chance to uh, focus the conversation on on things that they're interested in so it's a much it has a whole extra dimension it's a really powerful tool and it's something you, you'll almost certainly want to do and we've made it very easy for you to do that uh, it's all streamlined free and easy so just click on this broadcast here and you'll come up to the, the little tool we have to send out your message your invitation to talk to the bot uh, you'll see at the top we, we remind you to, to adhere to the policy of your platform so if you're sending to Facebook Messenger make sure you, you do so in accordance with their policies and all that usually means is that you've perhaps somewhere in, earlier in your communications You've had your bot ask, would you be willing to get uh, a broadcast notification from a bot? And hopefully they've said yes. And so you've got this list of people you're going to contact. So you choose your bot, in my case, the reader guide bot. And then you choose your recipients. The, the, the screen will open for you and start to load like this automatically. And it takes a moment because it's loading up all the people who've interacted with your bot. So hopefully a, a nice big list for you to choose from and you'll be able to scroll down, pick the people you want to receive the bot message. There's a filter button here, and this is very useful. If you want to just communicate, say, to the people who uh, have been in touch in the last month, you might use the, the, the settings here, or heaven forbid, and hopefully it isn't the case, but say you had a product recall or something like that and particular dates concerned you, uh, then you'd, um, you'd select them here, hit apply, and that filters the recipient lists uh, down to those people. So you've chosen your bot, you've chosen your recipients. Now you need to write your message. Let's suppose you've got a special offer. Hi, would you like to chat to me about a new special offer? And then you pick where in your bot structure do you want the conversation to start so you, you you're familiar with your bot structure you've already spent some time setting your bot up so it might uh want to begin with the hello page the you know which your first one or whatever it is mine would be uh with if someone says yes they'd start there just be a little bit cautious because if you've got several yeses yes no sort of trees in your in your bot conversation you, you want to make sure that the the initial one is that is that is that one. You know, if, if I look at mine again, I think I might have another yes, no further down. Oh, perhaps not. So anyway, yes, it is. Uh, you could attach images to make this invitation to chat to the bot look more exciting or at least more uh, clear what the offer is going to be about um, and so on. And that's it, really. Uh, you, you just choose now whether to um, send it right now or you can pick a time when for later. So um, I'm going to send it now. My, my, my special offer invitation, um, which I haven't really geared the bot to, but then I've only picked one recipient, which is myself. And actually, that's a good tip. Before you actually send it to 100 or 200 people or whatever your figures are, it is a good idea to just check uh, that it's all running smoothly by just sending it to yourself. So when I hit send now, that invitation's gone. Brilliant. And uh, now if I was to log in, look, I've received a new message. And if I was to log in, I'd read that invitation and ba bomb the whole thing's working. So I have the confidence then to you go back and then you'd, you'd select the rest of the recipients. So there you have it. Isn't it simple? Brilliant. And a really powerful tool of engagement. Enjoy.